Hey everybody, welcome back to Raven Janae and thank you all for tuning into my channel. Um, so today I am showing you how I apply this Curly U Part wig to my short hair. And here you just see me washing the wig to start off. Um, and I'm actually going to try to attempt a bleach bath because the wig is like jet black and my hair is brown. So that's what you're going to see me attempt to do here. Um, <laughs> It took me like an hour to do this bleach bath. I um, mean, it shouldn't take that long, so that's why I call it an attempt. So here's the bleach that I'm using. Um, and then you're gonna see me use the 40 develop the level 40 developer, not the 30, because I used the 30 at first and it took forever to lift. So that's why what you see me doing here, and I'm just mixing it up. Um, and I'm just gonna apply the bleach to some water, some super hot water and allow for the wig to soak and I'm gonna brush in the bleach and like I said this is kind of just some trial and error here because it took the wig forever to process I'm not sure exactly what I did wrong hey guys so thank you for tuning into my channel I don't know if this is gonna be at the beginning of the video or the end but I have um, this U part wig that I ordered from Amazon I believe it's a 16 inch um, and I'll link it in the description box and stuff but it came with this company um, it came like in really cute packaging um, and it came with like some lashes in here and stuff hold on let me show you off so this is the wig um, and y'all I tried to I tried to rinse this wig. I tried to do the bleach bath and it kinda did what, it, what I wanted it to do because it has like a slightly brown tint now. I don't know if y'all can tell. But this wig was jet black, y'all. And if you know me, or especially if you've seen me in person, y'all know my hair is brown. Like my natural hair color is brown. So black just wasn't gonna do. But more of a natural brown um, is what my hair color is. So I cut the straps off of this wig and this is the U part. It has four clips where the U is, two combs on the side, one at the bottom, and adjustable straps. Um, and I have the adjustable straps on the second loop from the end. So, the way that I have my hair, um, I have some braids, braided down on this side, down on this side, and down in the back. And then here's my leave out. Um, the rollers, is where I have heat damage at, um, you know, because all that heat damage wasn't cut out of my hair yet. I still have some towards the end, and the rest of my leave out is twisted up because I have a side part. So, this is my hair. Sorry if I'm shining, I just put some oil on my hair, y'all. But this video, I decided not to show you all the braid down because I feel like my videos have been long, so I'm trying to minimize them. But let's just get started. I am going to start at the top of my hair. Um, so the first clip is going to go right here. And try to put it as close to your leave out as possible so it'll look more natural that way. I just clip that down and keep going with the clips. And this is how I like to start my U parts. By doing the U part part section first and then securing the rest. So I secure at the top. That's how I was looking. And now I'm gonna secure that clip in the back. Secure the other clip on the side. And then pull it down towards the frame. And the wig is still wet because I washed it and like I said, I attempted to give it a bleach bath. And it's kind of at the color I want it to be now, y'all. And it's low-key feeling a little dry, like a little crusty from me putting that bleach on it. But I just couldn't go out with jet black hair. And I'm bringing in my Delta version with my line sisters. We taking pictures. So by the time this video is up, I can show y'all our pictures. But I am just gonna put this in a ponytail um, and work on my leave out. So. As you all know, if you have been subscribed to me on my channel, I recently cut. I just broke this roller. Get up. I just recently cut my hair, y'all. So it's been pretty hard trying to blend my leave out. And that's really what I wanted to show y'all today because a lot of people 
have seen me with my clip ends and you know want to know how I, I blend my leave out with my short hair and I'll insert a picture of my clip ends right here but I was tired of um wearing clip ends because clip I feel like once my when my braids are still wet the clips start to get rusty and the, you know they just get old over time you have to keep re sawing them on the clips so I wanted to try a U-Part wig which is just easier I don't have to figure out where I want the clips to go or anything so I'm just taking out these twigs okay definition okay and from me um doing the bleach bath on this hair it kind of has a slightly red tint I don't know if you all can see that but anyways I feel like it'll definitely blend better because that jet black was not it y'all like I have never had jet black hair like my hair has been brown my whole life so like when I used to get braids and stuff as a kid or like even now the hair color that I get is four like a four and that was like a 1B y'all so that just ah what, what, what Drewski say ah it's not gonna work <laughs> but yes okay so the leave out is giving curly so it's giving curly soon so, what I am going to do is probably spray it with some water and I am going to go in on this hair with my Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture. Um, just because it smells good <laughs> and it's not a product I use too, too often on my hair. So, like, I would rather use my really good products on my real hair than on my weave and that's just me being honest so I am going to take my fingers and kind of separate the curls as much as possible to match the texture of the weave so I'm just going to spritz it lightly with some water I'm going to take some of my gel and put it lightly on my fingertip freak okay see just a little bit of gel on there what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna go down I'm gonna take my hair strand by strand I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna twist it with the weave so the short pieces do not stick out okay taking this twisting it with some of the weave Here's my leave out. Twist, 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 twist it on down. And I'm gonna keep doing that. Y'all see how you can't see where my hair starts at? That's the look we were going for. Um, and if your roots are a little bit more poofy, feel free to take some of the gel and just kind of put it on the root. I'm gonna do the same thing to this part. So this is how it's looking so far, y'all. And my leave out is pretty much blended. So I kind of like that look where the edges are pushed back. Um, so I'm just going to take some of my edge control. And the edge control I use is the Style Factor Edge Booster. Um, this is the pineapple scent. And I'm going to use my edge brush and brush my edges. into place I want everything to look sleek so I'm trying to get it as sleek as possible don't mind the whiteness that's the edge control mix it with the wild growth oil I have in my hair when I did my braids Take that, I'm gonna slick everything back. And then I'm gonna do the same for this front part of my hair. So I am going to let this dry, then I will be back to show you all the finished results um, and how I further hide my leave out. Cause you can kind of tell just a little bit right here that my hair is shorter. Um, but once the weave dries and it's more poofy, it'll camouflage my leave out some more. 
Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, my hair hasn't gotten much, much bigger, but it's giving. It's giving. Okay? So, what I did was I took some of this leave out behind my ear. Um, and the rest is just right here. You kind of see the short pieces. Um, so, yeah, I just took this part behind my ear. Um, and I let it dry for a little bit, so now it's more full. Yes, I love this hair, y'all, and I love the U-part wig. It's just so much more easier than the clip-ins, but I will do a clip-in tutorial soon. Um, maybe try to do some different styles, maybe a middle part, um, half up, half down, something of that nature. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel and let me know more content that you all would like to see. So thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you later. Bye.